heading for the border of Romania and Ukraine for a rendezvous with a criminal. He specialises in smuggling into Europe a commodity hazardous both to humans and the environment. Our man arrives in a supermarket car park in Suceva in northern Romania in a vehicle with false plates, a bodyguard and suspicions. <laughs> This is Christy, certainly not his real name, and it isn't arms or drugs that he smuggles over the border. It's something invisible and odorless, but that's now at the center of a thriving and lucrative underworld enterprise. This is the biggest eco crime that no one's ever heard of. This is the biggest eco crime that no one's ever heard of. The contraband Christie smuggles is this. Cylinders containing hydrofluorocarbons, better known as HFCs, a greenhouse gas that's a major contributor to global warming. HFCs are used in cooling equipment like fridges and air conditioning. When this equipment is used and disposed of, huge amounts of HFCs are leaked into the atmosphere. As our planet heats up, our demand for cooling systems will increase. This creates a dangerous cycle. Ton for ton, HFCs are thousands of times more potent than CO2, carbon dioxide. So the EU's introduced what's called the F-gas regulation, designed to cut HFC emissions by two thirds by 2030. The F-gas regulation is the, probably the most influential environmental legislation in recent times and what it does is it uh, restricts the availability of HFC refrigerants and in so doing it drives users of refrigeration and air conditioning equipment to use more climate friendly alternatives. That's being achieved by imposing strict quotas on the total volume of HFCs traded in the EU which will be gradually reduced over time. And also by regulating who, like Agas in Bristol, can legitimately import and sell the different synthetically produced gases. But there's a problem. When that supply is squeezed, we see the market price of HFCs increase. And that gives illegal traders an incentive to smuggle in HFCs and sell them at inflated prices. HFC 134A, for example, is a much sought-after gas that keeps vehicle aircon functioning. HFC 404A is used in supermarket freezers, commercial cold storage facilities and refrigerated transportation. However, using it to top up larger refrigeration equipment was banned in Europe in 2020. Yet millions of cooling systems, which depend on both types, are still in daily use throughout the EU. And with the gradual phase down, there's a diminishing supply. Inter Christie. <laughs> In order to investigate the scale of the illegal trade, we went undercover in Romania. We pretended to represent a Turkish client in Germany who wanted the gas to top up aircon units in his second-hand car business. Having said we wanted five tonnes of HFC 134A and a tonne of the restricted HFC 404A in single-use cylinders, we quickly discovered that while there may be a shortage, 
that wasn't the case when it came to suppliers. Okay. No, 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 my In our investigations, the amount that we were asking uh, each HFC trader for could have reached them profits of about 30,000 euros. The illegal trade in HFCs has cost the legitimate F gas industry huge amounts of money. In 2019, they estimated that it was costing them half a billion pounds in lost profits. The attraction for criminals to get into the HFC black market is really due to the fact that they can uh, they can reap huge profits from these sales, combined with the fact that we see relatively weak enforcement and where companies are caught, often the penalties are not really uh, equivalent to the profits being made. So, how does it work? The method uh, criminals uh, use to uh, get illegal uh, HFCs into Europe is that they mainly, through Eastern Europe, misuse the transit procedures to get it into the western side of Europe. The illegal HFCs are predominantly Chinese made, but they enter Europe through Turkey and Ukraine. Romania seems to be a particularly big hotspot. Its border is very porous and we've been told it's relatively easy to bribe border guards to bring in the HFCs. From Romania, the illegal HFCs spread throughout Europe. We spoke with traders who were selling in Spain, Italy, Germany and even England. We also identified traders who were importing directly from Turkey into France and Belgium. Apart from loading them into the boots of cars, the black marketeers use various other methods to transport the cylinders through unwitting delivery companies. Cu toții avem așteptări mari. Cu toții avem un singur curier, fan curier, oriunde cu plăcere. Or trucks are used. And they're even loaded into the luggage compartments of long distance coaches without the knowledge of the company or its passengers. The most shocking revelation was the fact that these traders were smuggling cylinders of HFCs in passenger coaches going across Europe. These are hazardous chemicals which need to be transported uh, very carefully and not just being thrown into the back of a luggage compartment. Welcome to Olaf, the European Anti-Fraud Office, making EU money work for you. European law enforcement have had some successes. 
In 2019, the Polish authorities intercepted a 25-ton shipment worth 600,000 euros. But 2020 was the biggest year for seizures. During three months that summer, Italian customs were tipped off by Olaf about 300 non-refillable cylinders from China, which were arriving at the port of Livorno. Olaf also assisted in the seizure of a 76-ton shipment from Turkey, ordered by five Romanian companies. And the agency helped the Dutch to discover one way the smugglers were circumnavigating customs, with a tip-off about another illegal shipment. It started all uh, in uh, the eastern uh, part of Asia, uh, with, of course, a seagoing vessel. And it arrived, this cargo, uh, at the port of uh, Hamburg. At that time, uh, we didn't know anything, but on the background, uh, uh, Olaf was working with intelligence uh, information. They received the information that this uh, cargo had a destination of Lithuania, but in fact, uh, the cargo was going directly to the Netherlands. And there, Olaf uh, passed information to uh, customs uh, authorities. Customs authorities were uh, warned and have alerted uh, my uh, department, the ILT. And we uh, acted uh, directly. The lorry was in uh, uh, the Rotterdam port area and we intercepted it. And, uh, there we found uh, a cargo with 1,150 illegal canisters with HFCs. Non-reusable cylinders are banned in Europe, but they're the clearest indicator that a consignment of HFCs are illegal. So the smugglers try to stay one step ahead of customs. Sometimes we have seen um, cargoes with non-refillable uh, canisters, like this uh, catch uh, already one year ago. But nowadays they are changing their methods and they are using look-alikes of refillable uh, canisters. It's not just petty criminals and organized crime who've been involved in the black market. It's pretty easy to find suppliers on the internet who at first glance appear to be acting within the law. And some registered F-gas companies, who enjoy having a quota, also appear to be willing to trade illegally, too. Eurotech's sales director is George Deeker. He's had 20 years' experience in the legitimate F-gas business. He offered to sell us non-refillable cylinders of HFC-134A and 404A smuggled in from Ukraine, and advised on how to get our illegal cargo to our client in Germany. I have a friend who does a course abroad, does Germany, does France, does Spain. He does it for free. He has the transport, he has everything he needs. He does it well and he has a lot of money. I have a friend who does a course abroad, does Germany, does France, does Spain. He does it for free. 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 No, no, no. He doesn't have any sort of money. He doesn't have any sort of money. Okay. EMG Management Invest have a prominent website and a new F-Gas regulation quota holders. We first contacted them by phone and spoke to their representative who, despite Romania being governed by EU law, was happy to supply us with what we wanted. Remember that 76 ton seizure back in August 2020? Well, part of that illegal consignment was destined for EMG, and the amount they'd ordered was well over their quota. EMG now say they no longer offer gas in disposable canisters, and that they've joined an industry pledge to say no to illegally traded HFCs. It all begs the question, 
What else can be done to stop the illegal trade? The most pressing problem is to link customs clearance with some sort of real-time check on whether the importer actually has quota to, or a quota or an entitlement to bring this refrigerant in and place it on the market. Currently there's no real-time checking of that, so importers can bring in anything they like um, and it, it, it's up to them ultimately to report what they've, what they've imported. We've seen some really good efforts by law enforcement in certain countries, but the reality is that many customs are not aware that HFCs are an issue. And where HFCs are seized, there are not proper penalties being put in place. And often the HFCs are simply returned back to sender. There are other things that can be done to stop the illegal trade. Changes to the F-gas regulation can be made to impose minimum penalties across the EU. Improve traceability of HFCs in transit and across the supply chain. And get rid of loopholes that continue to allow the worst HFCs, like HFC 404A, to be used. Rather than using newly manufactured refrigerant gases, quality reclaimed refrigerants can be sourced from reliable suppliers like A-gas. If you do need to stay cool, you can use natural refrigerants, which are a group of climate-friendly gases increasingly used in equipment across Europe. Without these actions, Christie and others like him will still be doing deals on Romania's border with Ukraine. <laughs> Am în Germania. Care la turci? La greu? Nu dădeam să-ți